Morning Prayer on Friday the 10th of February O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever, as your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made, as we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the word that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, say, May the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 31 Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be be put to shame, deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me, make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a fortress to save me, for you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you I have redeem for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols, I put my trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction, and known my soul in adversity. You have not shut me up in the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me. Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, my soul and my body also. For my life is wasted with grief, and my ears with sighing. My strength fails me because of my affliction, and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to all my enemies, and even to my neighbours, an object of dread to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they flee from me. I am forgotten like one that is dead, out of mind. I have become like a broken vessel. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is on every side. They scheme together against me and plot to take my life. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I have said you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and save me for your mercy's sake. Lord, let me not be confounded, for I have called upon you. But let the wicked be put to shame. Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence that speak against the righteous with arrogance, disdain and contempt. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all who, for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was as a city besieged. 
I had said in my alarm, I had been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants, for the Lord protects the faithful, but repays to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Into your hands I commend my spirit, Lord Jesus Christ, when scorn and shame besiege us, and hope is veiled in grief. Hold us in your wounded hands, and make your face shine on us again, for you are our Lord and God. Now reading today verses 12 to 27 of John 17 follows immediately after Judas has brought soldiers and police to the Garden of Gethsemane, where he expected to find Jesus. So the soldiers, their officer and the Jewish police arrested Jesus and bound him. First they took him to Annas, who is the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. Caiaphas was the one who had advised the Jews that it was better to have one person die for the people. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. Since that disciple was known to the high priest, he went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter was standing outside at the gate. So the other disciple, who was known to the high priest, went out, spoke to the woman who guarded the gate, and brought Peter in. The woman said to Peter, You are not also one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Now the slaves and the police had made a charcoal fire because it was cold, and they were standing round it and warming themselves. Peter also was standing with them and warming himself. Then the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teaching. Jesus answered, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in synagogues and in the temple, where all the Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who heard what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the police standing nearby struck Jesus on the face, saying, Is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered, If I have spoken wrongly, testify to the wrong. But I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Then Anna sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They asked him, You are not also one of his disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Again Peter denied it, and at that moment the cock crowed. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. And let us pray. The prayer from the Benedictine Handbook. Lord God, The cross reveals the mystery of your love, a stumbling block indeed for unbelief, but the sign of your power and wisdom to us who believe. Teach us so to contemplate your Son's glorious passion that we may always trust and glory in his cross. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. And the collect for today. Almighty God, who alone can bring order to the unruly wills and passions of sinful humanity, give your people grace so to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that among the many changes of this world our hearts may surely there be fixed, where true joys are to be found, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.